This Commonwealth country is second largest in the world, but the majority of that territory is uninhabited wilderness. The ability to genuinely and completely get lost in nature is undoubtedly one of Canada's attractions. Its national parks are enormous and provide picturesque views. If you enjoy the great outdoors, there are many opportunities for mountaineering, hiking, boating, swimming, and cycling. Visit Whistler's Powdery Slopes, look for grizzly bears in Banff National Park, or sample some of Vancouver's freshest wild salmon. Everyone can find something to do in Canada. You can learn more about Canada's culture and history in addition to its breathtaking natural beauty, which includes the Great Lakes region. Explore the Francophone area of Quebec, Vancouver's glittering skyscrapers and East Asian cultural hotspots, Toronto's magnificent Victorian architecture, and Ottawa's great railway hotels and neo-Gothic government structures. With the help of our film on the top locations to visit in Canada, you can organize your vacation to this amazing North American tourist destination. 1. Niagara Falls Canada's most well-known natural landmark, Niagara Falls, welcomes millions of tourists each year. These enormous falls, which are about an hour's drive from Toronto at the American border, have a 57-meter plunge. From a number of crucial locations, you can see the falls at an astonishingly close range. Since well over a century ago, visitors and daredevils have been drawn to Niagara Falls and the Niagara Gorge. There were numerous efforts to jump over the falls during the mid-19th and mid-20th centuries, using various forms of improvised boats and barrels. This resulted in the nearby town of Niagara Falls having a carnival-like ambience that is still present today, along with tightrope walkers and other sites. Families will love strolling down Clifton Hill in Niagara, which leads to the gorge and falls. Other well-liked activities in this area include taking a boat to the base of the falls, climbing the Skylon Tower for an amazing perspective, and participating in the journey behind the falls experience to see the falls from the bottom up. 2. Banff National Park and the Rocky Mountains Alberta's gorgeous Rocky Mountains are home to Banff National Park, which features some of the country's most breathtaking landscapes. In this magnificent park, turquoise lakes, snow-covered hills, and glaciers are all within easy reach. Go for a lovely drive or set out on one of Banff's top treks. The crowning glory of the park is Lake Louise, where tourists may simply wander along the shores as the emerald waters of the lake mirror the nearby mountains and glaciers. Moraine Lake, Another stunning alpine lake with a slightly more dramatic surroundings is only a short distance away. The Icefields Parkway, which connects Lake Louise and Jasper, is another must-see destination in Banff. The charming tiny town of Banff, which offers a variety of alternatives for lodging, shopping, dining, and nightlife, is located near the southernmost point of the park. The best ski resorts in Canada, Lake Louise Ski Resort and Sunshine Village, are both located in the popular winter sports region of Banff. 3. Toronto's CN Tower One of Canada's most recognizable structures, the CN Tower, is located in the country's largest metropolis on the shores of Lake Ontario. The skyscraper dominates the skyline at an amazing 553 meters height. At the summit, there is superb cuisine at the 360 restaurant, where you may eat and take in the views of the city and lake. Beautiful panoramas of the entire area may be seen from the lookout and the glass floor. Consider leaving the enclosed space and proceeding onto the metal CN Tower Edgewalk walkway for an extra excitement. After being secured by a harness, you'll be able to stroll around the structure as it rises 116 stories or 356 meters or 1,168 feet above the ground. However, even those who decide against climbing the tower will find themselves pausing to take in the view of the building, which can be seen from practically anywhere in the city. The tower is coloredly illuminated at night. 4. 
Old Quebec. Despite being the provincial capital of Quebec in eastern Canada, Quebec City appears more like a quaint European village because of its French background. The historic area of Old Quebec, the only city in North America with its ancient walls still standing, is perched on a hill overlooking the Street Lawrence River. Old structures like the Citadel and historic locations like the Place Royale, where explorer Samuel de Complain founded the first North American French settlement, can be seen during a stroll through the old city's cobblestone streets. All across the old city are cafes, stores, and bars. The magnificent Castle Frontenac, a symbol of the city and often recognized as the most photographed hotel in North America, gives tours even to those who don't plan to stay the night. The Ice Hotel is another stunning hotel. This unusual hotel, which is open from January to April, has rooms with exquisite ice sculptures. 5. Whistler The Whistler Resort is the biggest and most well-known alpine skiing destination in North America, thanks to two magnificent mountains by the names of Whistler and Blackcomb. It takes two hours to go from Vancouver to Whistler, which is situated in the coast mountains of British Columbia in western Canada, along the Sea to Sky Highway. Whistler Village, Creekside, and Upper Village are three charming settlements located at the foot of the two mountains. Visitors are transported from the villages to the mountains by the Peak 2 Peak Gondola. Whistler started out as a little logging community. In preparation for hosting the 1968 Winter Olympics, a ski resort was constructed on London Mountain following the 1960 Summer Games in Squaw Valley. But it wasn't until the 2010 Winter Olympics that this was accomplished. Because the local hoary marmots that live in these mountains make a whistle-like sound, London Mountain was renamed Whistler Mountain in an effort to avoid its deceptive name. Today, Whistler is home to numerous top-tier ski resorts and boasts breathtaking mountain views that keep adventurers coming back year after year. The mountains offer fantastic hiking and rock climbing options in addition to winter sports. 6. Ottawa's Parliament Hill The neo-Gothic-style Parliament buildings, constructed in the latter half of the 19th century, beautify Parliament Hill in Ottawa, which rises high above the Ottawa River. The Peace Tower, which divides the House of Commons and the Senate on either side, is the most noticeable element. A sculpture park is located behind the Parliament buildings, and in front of them is the Centennial Flame, which was lighted in 1966 to mark the 100th anniversary of Canadian Confederation. Weather permitting, the changing of the guard occurs during the summer on the front lawn of the Houses of Parliament. There is a nice path that follows the Ottawa River beneath Parliament Hill. 7. Vancouver Island The largest island off the west coast of North America is called Vancouver Island, after the British explorer George Vancouver. It's a very picturesque island encircled by the Pacific, with shimmering lakes, powerful waterfalls, enchanted fjords, and glacier mountains that hikers frequently explore. The weather is a draw for outdoor enthusiasts, it boasts Canada's mildest temperature. The wildlife of Vancouver Island is also abundant. In addition to some of the best whale watching in the world, where you can kank alongside orcas, it's also a terrific place to spot birds and grizzly bears. You can fully enjoy the charm of the outdoors due to the island's low population, with the majority of people living in Victoria, the capital of British Columbia. The majority of the breathtaking scenery on the island can be found in Strathcona Provincial Park, making it one of the best locations for a walk in the great outdoors. Visit the historic forest of Cathedral Grove or start your round on one of the many superb golf courses nearby. 8. Victoria's Inner Harbour Few Canadian communities have developed their waterfront areas as beautifully as Victoria and its inner harbour. In front of the port, this is a terrific spot for wandering, unwinding, shopping, dining, and enjoying street entertainers. The Old Empress Hotel, one of the most beautiful structures in the city, serves as the area's focal point. 
The Empress has hosted kings and queens over the years, and it now offers a traditional high tea, one of the highlights for many tourists to Victoria. Although the harbor area is well liked all year round, the summer season is when it is the busiest. 9. Vancouver's Stanley Park The 405-hectare Stanley Park, ideally situated on the west side of the downtown area, is one of Vancouver's greatest attractions. The park, which lies on a peninsula and is surrounded by water, is home to enormous Douglas fir and red cedar trees. An extensive walking, running, and biking trail with dedicated lanes for pedestrians and bicyclists surrounds the park on the seawall. There are some beautiful views of the city and mountains from the seawall. Stanley Park is also the site of a picturesque road with many pullouts. The Vancouver Aquarium, picturesque Beaver Lake, the Stanley Park Pavilion, and the Rose Garden are all located inside the park. Numerous totem poles, some of which were built more than 100 years ago, are also of particular importance. The cherry trees bloom in a spectacular display in the spring. 10. The Okanagan Valley The Okanagan Valley is situated on the warm side of the mountains from neighboring Alberta, according to locals in Penticton and Kelowna. This is undoubtedly true. Western Canadians' summer playground is this lengthy valley. The valley floor is dominated by enormous lakes, and here you may find some of British Columbia's best beaches. Canoeing, sailing, and pleasure boating are all popular pastimes away from the bustling metropolis, and on every sunny summer day, the lakes are crowded with happy people enjoying a good time. Farms growing some of Canada's best fruit, including cherries, peaches, pears, and plums among many others, may be found along the gentle slopes rising from the lakes. There are several places to stay, Penticton and Kelowna both provide high-quality lodging. The Okanagan is slightly quieter in the winter, but when it snows, people flock to some of British Columbia's top ski resorts, such as Big White, Apex, Silver Star, or Sun Peaks.